Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, uh, the president had decided very strategically to introduce um, leading personalities and sports people in the afternoon because uh, most people have a tendency of falling asleep. So hopefully uh, this is uh, a good wake-up call and uh, I'm sure that uh, uh, Borea will uh, ensure that everybody is, uh, is awake. That's your asset test, sir. and so they're going, and they're going to rate you on, you know, on that. So um, I, I don't actually have to introduce this panelist. I think they are extremely well-known people, but uh, um, as a matter of protocol, uh, we have um, Mr. Saurabh Ganguly, of course, uh, popularly known as, uh, and affectionately known as Dada. Um, uh, even though we were not exactly together, but... Uh, my only claim to fame uh, drawing on his shoulders is that we studied at the same school in Calcutta. And he's been a, a former captain and a very well-known uh, captain of the Indian team. And he, uh, along with uh, our president, Mr. Nevatia, is also the co-owner of uh, the football club, um, Atletico de Kolkata, which is now going to play in the finals, I believe, in Kochi um, this weekend, right? So we welcome you, Saurav. Uh, from Fiki. So Abhinav Bindra, well known and no stranger to Fiki. He's a world um, and Olympic shooting champion in the air rifle events and uh, he was the first Indian to win an individual gold medal at the Olympic Games and uh, we've had the pleasure of uh, having him with Fiki uh, along with us even abroad. Uh, most importantly, Ms. Deepa Malik, uh, Summer Paralympics 2016 silver medal winner in athletics. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, she is the first Indian woman to win a medal in the Paralympic Games. So we're really honored to have you here, Deepa. It's really great to have you here. And last but not the least, um, the incredible Borya Mazumdar, uh, historian, writer, commentator, journalist, man at large, Rhodes Scholar, uh, and um, many achievements, uh, but he's also, if, before you forget, uh, the author of uh, Sachin Tindulkar's autobiography, Playing It My Way, and he's been involved actively in several committees. Well, I don't really want to stand in front of you, but just a couple of observations. I think from the time I grew up, the predominant sport uh, and the default sport was cricket. It still remains perhaps the most popular sport in the country. And because I came from Calcutta, we also had a smattering of uh, football uh, and, and the leagues that we had. But I think um, with the, in the last decade, we have witnessed an unprecedented level of sporting activity in other games and in other fields in India. And I think a lot of this has moved from, or, I, or is moving from, the issue of sports being played just for the sake of sports. You enjoyed, you had a passion. But then you move on to say, what happened to sportsmen when they were past their prime? So in, in those days, most cricketers had a job with State Bank of India or some public sector undertaking. But can you build a career and earn your living for the rest of your life through the medium of sports? And that is why this topic today, the business of sports, but we don't want to concentrate only on the business, Borea. We'll talk about other things as well. But I think that is the major shift. And that is what uh, we should be seeing from a Fiki perspective, because Fiki was the first chamber to dedicate uh, a special sports committee. And Fiki has been involved in, in a lot of policy work to promote uh, formalization of sports as an industry, etc. And it has created several knowledge papers, more than 30 of them. So really, Fiki's role here is in seeing, while we enjoy our sports, while we watch record uh, television eyeballs and viewerships, how can sports be a sustainable business for the people who participate in it. 
not just for the television channels and others. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'll hand you over to, to Borya Mazumdar. Borya, please, thank you.